This will be interesting. From here on out, it's all ridge walking, I can tell. Good morning, it's day seven. I'm back here at Unicoi Gap. It's raining hard. It's been raining all night really hard. There are flood alerts, and it's supposed to rain pretty much the entire day, and maybe let off tomorrow. I don't know. Right now my GoPro won't turn on. I don't know if uh, something's happened to the battery, but I couldn't uh, reach the battery packs in the uh, shuttle. So I think I'm just going to keep going until it stops raining and then fin finish with the uh, battery. Or if not, I'm just planning to just go about seven miles to the shelter. And then that's it for the day today. Just because it's going to rain so much the whole time. And it's, it's actually going to get down to about 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, overnight, so it's 55 now So during the night it's gonna get really cold. So I'm gonna try to get to a shelter Maybe by 2 or 3 because it's about 10 30 and then uh, Just take it easy from there and just kind of get warm and dry out and then fix it go bro But this is a big climb coming up here. I Don't know which creek this is but this thing is flowing hard I'm guessing it's not normally like this but wow Still drizzling, well not drizzling, but raining. Fortunately, I have the umbrella. It just, uh, I had to put the main camera on the backpack this morning though, because it was gonna rain so much, it wasn't worth risking it, even with the, uh, I need my bag for it. And it's supposed to rain all day, so, but uh, I got the cell phone, so that's good. And we're gonna keep heading up. Crazy day, I don't know if I'm gonna see anyone, I'm curious. I heard some people bail because of the weather, but the way I see it, if I can't let myself just say, oh, it's going to rain. I should stay and take a zero because once I do that, I keep doing it. And there's going to be a lot of zeros then. So I'll just keep going. And uh, I already booked a place in Franklin. I'll be trying to stay with Chica and Sunset if I can get to whatever gap that is there on Monday. We'll see. I made it sort of to the top area, but there's a Rocky Mountain Trail here, Blue Blaze. And we're going to head north or head further up. And uh, I, I'm just hoping it's not going to be too windy because I have the umbrella attached to my shoulder strap. It's just when it's windy, then you got to take it off and kind of manipulate with your hands, keep it into the wind. Still, still raining a little, and I have about 1,500 feet to go, only 4.7 miles. Relatively easy day, I guess. Look who's here with me, Mr. Snail. That shell is so nice. Good job, dude. Hello, everybody. I'm keeping the cell phone under the umbrella, so I'm sorry I'm that right in your face. Well, it's been raining non-stop. I, I kind of figured it would rain for an hour and then it would just be on and off from the forecast. And it's just been like heavy rain, blowing rain. I don't know if I'd say there was any light rain, but it's been pretty constant rain. And uh, we're heading up again, so I'm gonna warm up. I'm doing pretty well. My legs are wet. Of course, the pants soak through pretty quickly. Um, arms are wet, but my core is warm. And believe it or not, my core, because it's warm, it's keeping my hands warm. And I've actually seen snowflakes coming down on and off. My hands are warm, I'm doing all right. And uh, I can't imagine what it'd be like without an umbrella where you just get soaked all the way through. It's so cold. I don't know, but uh, yeah, let's keep going. It's really dark right now, right? Can you even see me? It's, it's not good weather. All right, so we only have about two, maybe two and a half more miles. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. I'm probably going much slower than I thought I was going. Um, but we'll get to shelter and then we'll sort everything out and kind of take it easy. I hope I can get to Franklin in four nights, five days. That's all the food I have. Um, <laughs> we'll see. There's a lot of elevation gain. Okay, I just checked gut hooks. It's three miles, 1300 feet. From here on up, we're going all up. The hard part is when it's really windy and coming from the side, I have to use one hand with the trekking pole and one hand holding the umbrella. Otherwise the umbrella just flips. And going up with one trekking pole is hard for me. Um, but it's all up. Hopefully the wind isn't under control. 
And we just go up, 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 up. In fact, I think until we get right near the shelter, we keep going up. It's like up level, up level, up, and then we start going down. Fun day. This is a good test of all the rain gear. And I'm glad I'm just, I decided to call it a short day. There's no, definitely no way I would have made it late because it's supposed to get so cold later. I don't want to get to shelter at like 7, 6, 7 o'clock and have it just be freezing cold after being wet all day. And then we'll just decide tomorrow morning. We'll wake up at 6.30, 7 o'clock and just decide to start then or wait a little bit more. Tough, tough choices. I'm sure a lot of people are hunkering down in some room somewhere. I'm sure Marty is. I don't know. Thought has crossed my mind. But this is what the adventure is about, right? Just going in and tackling it, trusting your gear. Let's go. This is what my view looks like with the umbrella right there. Sometimes when you go, when you're climbing, all you see is this. So I already apologize to any hikers that if they're coming down, I am not seeing them at all. It's beautiful though. All the rhododendron bushes everywhere. I'd call that pretty good flow. Pretty good flow. Like a gallon every couple of seconds. And yeah, not that much. So it appears to be a road we're crossing and then we just go up some more. Lots of little old forest roads and whatnot. I don't know even know if they're used at all. This one looks pretty good though. Hey folks, I'm about two miles, maybe a mile and a half away from the shelter, but you can get water down this trail. So yeah, there's there's some water down the trail. Or you could scoop it off the trail. This will be interesting. From here on out, it's all ridge walking, I can tell. Then we're gonna go summit Trey Mountain and then go down a little, all on the ridge. All ridge, wind's coming from the right, so I'm gonna have to lean like this to get the umbrella in there. But it's really coming down and windy now. I am very thankful for this umbrella. I need to baby it and take care of it because if it was gone, I'd be soaked through and cold. I'm gonna have to hike with one pole for a while just to take care of this umbrella. Great mountain summit, everyone. No views today, but I guess, you know, I got really good views of Blood Mountain, so it's all right. I love these rocks here, though. Oh, which way is the wind going? Yeah, these rocks are pretty cool. Yeah, and the camera it doesn't look as cool, but I swear it's really cool. Now let's go down and hit the shelter. I gotta scoop up some water first somewhere. I just gotta pick a stream. I made it to the Trey Mountain shelter, and uh, it's an okay shelter. It's a smaller one, but there definitely isn't as much of an overhang because there's no picnic table here. So a lot of the rain has blown in about at least a third of the way. Those wet spots were for me walking around. But I'm gonna try to sleep tucked in that way and hope the rain doesn't blow in anymore. It's supposed to be thunderstorms tonight Might have to hang up my tent somehow. Just make a wall out of it. I got time, we'll see. Maybe I won't. I'll probably just keep my umbrella there. All right, you got me guys. I'm not actually on the trail. I'm, I've am i been soaking in a bathtub for the last four hours, as you can see by the major pruning going on. Both hands, hmm, the thumb is doing much better. How's the other hand? Yeah, so anyway, I thought I'd show you how I'm sitting here. I'm at the corner of the shelter and I'm just got this umbrella here. Some rain has blown in. So I'm gonna try to keep this umbrella here throughout the whole night. And the actual beauty is there's a slight breeze coming this way. I could feel it on my leg. But if I put the umbrella here, it actually blocks it. And it's super comfy just 
just right here behind the umbrella. It's nice. I am a little afraid of these water pools coming this way, but there's not that much more water left. But it's uh, it's getting cold though. I need to I need to get my sleeping stuff set up so I can get warm. Maybe change out of my wet clothes. Hmm. Partially wet clothes. That's a weird thing. I don't know what to do. Hello from my little shelter here. It's uh. It's, it's not going to be as cold tonight as I thought it was going to be. It's going to be about 55, actually, which is not bad. My concern, though, is south is that way. And the thunderstorms tonight, when they happen, the wind is supposed to be coming from the south, gusting up to 28 miles an hour. And because there's a lack of an overhang, a good amount of rain is going to come in. I am sitting here wondering if I should have hiked seven more miles to the next shelter. I just didn't think I could do 12 miles with such a late start. But uh, that might have been better protected against these thunderstorms that are coming up. I fear that if I sleep, I might wake up with some rain blowing onto me. I'll keep my umbrella near here. I'm going to put my backpack here as well to try to brace it from some of the wind. I'll put the rain cover over it, and um, we'll see what happens, but I kind of do wish I, I kept hiking on, though. I just thought another seven miles of this constant rain would, would not have been good for me. Um, it might have been better in the long haul because of that uh, thunderstorm coming. So we'll see. And then tomorrow, supposed to be showers up to 11, and then... Should be fine, but uh, tomorrow I also have to hike 15 miles to the next shelter, just so I could pace it out so I can get to Franklin by Monday, Monday early afternoon, Monday afternoon. But we'll see how things go. Um, I'm gonna eat here soon because it's gonna start getting dark, and then I'm just gonna get everything ready to go to sleep. I've been sitting here trying to figure out how I could set up the tent as like a wind block, but I'm not quite certain. I don't know. Well, it's time for bed, folks. It's, it's going to be an interesting night. I had to move uh, my umbrella around just to try to cover my feet area because I was getting some spray from the wind. And yes, that's my food bag. I'm actually sleeping with it this time and using it as a plan to keep the rain mist away. And I got my backpack here and my tent. Hopefully, that's enough to keep me mostly dry for the night. Already though, I found fresh mouse poop near the uh, corner here, right by, uh, right against the wall, like on the footprint here. So I think it's gonna be an interesting night. I think I felt it once, jump on my quilt. Um, I thought I felt something, I thought maybe I was just imagining it, but I think it was a mouse. So hopefully they lay off uh, and I sleep okay and nothing gets destroyed tonight, but it might be an interesting morning. So come back tomorrow and uh, See what happens, I guess. Wish me luck with everything.